And point number nine is propagation. So this kind of goes hand in hand with pruning because when you're pruning off little tendrils or little pieces of this plant, you can reroot them and make new plants. You can take those little pieces and stick them back in the top of this pot if it's looking thin and they'll root and start growing and fill in any areas that might be sparse or you can propagate them in another container. So I'm gonna grab a little bit more soil and just show you how I do it. There's a couple different methods. So the first method of propagating, and this is one that I don't typically do, but it does work if you've got a long stem so something like this right here you can see all of the little um, pearls coming off of this branch where the pearls connect to the branch that's called a node and that's where the roots typically form so what you can do is you can take this whole stem and you can lay it right on top of the soil like this and just kind of push it down in there and then just lightly mist that soil and make sure it doesn't dry completely out and eventually that little stem will root and take off um, the way that I typically do it though is I'll take a cutting and put a stem down in the soil. That way it's anchored a little bit better. So to do that, I'm just going to remove some of these little pearls. You do have to be a little careful because these are fragile. But I just want, you know, three inches or so of stem like that. And I'll just make a little hole. You can just insert that stem down in the hole, pack soil in around it, and that stem will form new roots and this plant will take off. And I like the fact that you can put a bunch of cuttings in this pot and it already has kind of the, the form you want. It already has kind of some drape going on. So I'm just gonna do a few more stems so that this pot will look nice and even and full. And something else really neat I learned about these string of pearls is that each one of these little pearls or leaves has a little stripe that's clear on one side of the um, pearl and that actually acts as a window to allow more light into the pearl so that it can harness more energy for photosynthesis. I think it's really cool how nature does its thing. So I used both methods in this one. I used the stem method where I poked the stem down in the soil for the ones that are hanging off the side of the pot. And then I twirled a couple around the top of the soil just for fun. So I had an example of both and they'll both root and start growing and take off. 